This is my R Duck Locomotive Works 464 Hudson. Final thoughts. Now this was uh, the last kit released by R Duck Locomotive, so this is the last Hudson. I was lucky to get that. This this kit is discontinued. There's probably a, a number of reasons for that. There's no reason to believe that Trip won't uh, fix some of the issues and uh, and reissue this in 2023. I, I think that's a possibility. Some things I didn't talk about before were the uh, laminate construction of the uh, piston boxes, the steam chests. Uh, these are made up uh, 21 different pieces all put together. I, uh, anyone who's built one of these is familiar with the idea of uh, part drift, where you glue them together and the parts drift as you're putting them together. So the only way to put together the steam chest was to uh, clamp and tape the whole assembly, all 21 pieces together at once, make sure they're square, make sure they're just right, and then soak the whole thing with thin CA glue it together that way that's that's how I did the steam chest is clamped glued and thin CA the, the whole thing at once that's the only way to do those otherwise the the parts will drift so far out of uh, square that you, they'll be ruined and I didn't have to learn that the hard way I figured it out first uh, my running gear came out okay it uh, it will articulate and, and, and move. Uh, if you put the locomotive on a, on a carpet and run it that way, there's, there's not enough traction on the tracks to uh, show you how well those uh, run. It's a lot of work to get those things to run nicely. Um, the bell, if you're familiar with those, uh, the bell came out a lot nicer than I thought I was gonna get it to come out. So that was nice. There's a few things I uh, will do differently in, 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 in a future release of, uh, our, uh, of a locomotive. Maybe I'll fill in the gaps between the uh, boiler slats. Uh, I pushed too hard on, on this uh, piece here and it, uh, it sort of gushed in the uh, the component into the slats and so there's a, that's a little out of whack so some some reinforcement inside would be a good uh, improvement next time I'm thinking maybe uh, maybe some rivets now I added uh, I added some rivets to the steam chest those are just little tiny uh, ship nails that I had laying around so that was that uh, that's a nice improvement but maybe Maybe some more added to the firebox would be good. I'll look inside the the cab. The uh, you can see the fires uh, just about ready back there. The uh, the gauges I uh, hand painted those with with an ink pen. They came out pretty good. Just a standoff standoff look so that came out pretty good there's a little tool cart I'm still working on the other half of that the hand car the uh, the tender we uh, worked on already on Well, anyways, there's a little cavity in there. You could uh, put notes to the future in there for your kids. Another look inside the cab, see if we can see what we can see there. Yeah, not too bad. There's a lot of detail you could add to the cab if, if you had that, uh, if 
you had that kind of data, I don't. There's some plumbing. There's the firebox done in kind of a gray. They would have, seems like they would have been a gray, a grayish color, not really black, because they're so hot. Anyone who's familiar with this knows that there was a gap for the vent right here at the front. Had it had to be uh, had to be filled in. I filled mine in, of course, no big deal. <coughs> There's the steam whistle. We're running gear. Old 5304. Yeah. There was a slight gap when this was in the shut position. I Put about a 50 thou shim in there and uh, it took up the gap so that it closes perfectly. No big deal. Liners. So that's my interpretation of the uh, 464 Hudson by R. Duck Locomotive Works, New Hampshire. Came out just the way I thought it would. Nice addition. Again, this is the the last 464 Hudson kit released by R. Duck Locomotive Works in New Hampshire. And that'll about do it. Thanks for watching.